Hey guys, it's Jordan, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to get full version of Fraps for free. I'm also going to be showing you the settings uh, for the end for it. So um, yeah. Also, the version is 3.5.99, as you can see here, 3.5.99. Uh, so easy to download. Just download this 2.65 megabyte file. Uh, the link here will be in the description. It will not take long at all to download because it's a really small file, and depending on your internet as well. Alright, it's now finished, I'm just going to drag this down to my desktop and close this. Open up these and then click run, wait for it to load up and then click I agree and you can set your destination folder to wherever you want, I'm just going to set it to the normal C drive and just click install and it will only take a few seconds and now just click close. It will create a shortcut so I'm just going to put that in my taskbar and just delete the installer and this other shortcut. And now open up Fraps, and as you can see here, 3.5.99, and it is the full version. I will now go through the settings that you will need, well, my preferences for what you should use. So, um, always have this one, Fraps Windows always open on top. Um, and then if you're playing in-game, so you just want your game recording, uh, do not click this one. If you click this one, this actually records your whole entire screen. As you can see up here, this thing is popping up. But if you just want to play game, just unclick it. Um, then I'll go to this one. And this one is for benchmarking, benchmarking, which I'm not actually positive I want that actually is. So I'm, I just usually leave that. And for this one, this is actually the... Um, so if I go here, it's for this. So you can put that wherever you want it. Or you can hide it. Uh, so you don't see it, or sometimes you actually want to see what frames you're getting. So but I usually hide it. Um, then you can actually have a hotkey, so if you want to know if you're recording, because when it's recording it goes red. So if you want to know if it's recording, you can have this on, and then you just press the button for it to go away, and then you start like talking, if that's what you want to do. But I usually just keep it off, and just hope for the best that it's actually recording. And now moving on to movies, you can set your destination folder. I have mine as... I have to reset it because I had to reinstall it. So I do it as Fraps Recordings. And then this one, this is where, because you can't actually start the recording by pressing a button, you have to have a hotkey. So I use F5. You can have whatever you want as long as it doesn't interfere with benchmarking hotkey and the screenshot hotkey. And then for, depending on your computer, if it's a really good computer, I would advise going not just 60 frames, but like something like 120, or if you were a really good computer, like 200. But I'm not really a good, I've, I'm using a laptop, so it's not actually that good, but so I just use 30 frames and have it as full size. Also, down here, you can tick this. I recommend not doing it because every 4 gigabytes used for the video, it splits it up into another file. So just you don't want multiple files for one video so I advise just not clicking that unless you do want multiple files for one video over here I have this one text and stereo and if you want to be recording your mic just click this one and your mic should pop up I'm using the Total Beach PX22 and you can have it if you just want your recording like hold a button and it will record so if I had this and I held space it would hear my voice but if I'm not holding it it wouldn't hear my voice I usually just keep it like that uh, you can change these settings if you want, I don't. I usually leave them, but if you feel like you want to, then go ahead. Screenshots, I sometimes use screenshots, not often, I usually just leave it as the F10 key, also change it whatever you want, and over here, I also have it as a JPEG file, and you can change it, the destination here, which I will have Fraps screenshots, and yeah, so that's basically the tutorial I've got. And I hope you guys enjoyed, I hope it helped, and I'll see you guys in the next video.